I never imagined myself as a nurse. Like when I was a kid, I never knew what I wanted to do. I never said, oh, I want to be a nurse. I want to be anything. I actually thought I wouldn't have a job at all. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nika and this channel we talk about all things nursing, travel, and lifestyle, anything that pertains to my lifestyle. I am a nurse. I'm a registered nurse. Um, I do like to travel a lot, not do travel nursing, but I like to travel with my family. If you want to see more travel related videos, you can subscribe to the Know All Games page. Alright, so let's get right into this video. Today's video has been inspired by some of my um, Instagram followers. I always get asked about my nursing journey um, from my Instagram followers. So today I thought I'd do a video just explaining you know, how I obtained my um, registered nurse uh, degree and license. So I um, did not start out by going to a, a four-year college. Um, well, let me back that up. I did start out by going to a four-year college but it was not in nursing. I never imagined myself as a nurse. Like when I was a kid, I never knew what I wanted to do. I never said, oh, I wanna be a nurse, I wanna be anything. I actually thought I wouldn't have a job at all. So don't blame me, blame my parents. My parents are really hard workers, but um, I didn't think I had to work when I got older. So I never imagined myself as an adult. So. Fast forward to maybe 2004, I got pregnant with my first kid. That's when I started to realize that I was an adult. It was like at her conception, I realized that I had to do adult things like get a job. Um, by that time, I had been um, in my four year college for about two years. So um, I was attending a UL and I had been studying psychology for two years. So honestly, I just knew I wanted to uh, help people. I love listening to people one-on-one uh, -on -one and kind of making an impact in their life. So I don't know if psychology was like a cop-out. Um, I knew that degree um, would not land me a job right out of school with a four-year degree and that I'd have to continue my education and um, go ahead and get a master's degree. So I kind of went with psychology because I just knew that when I graduated with my bachelor's, I didn't want to work at that time. Um, but I still wanted to please my mom. I had to go to college. That was like not an option. So anyways, didn't want to be a nurse. I kind of fell into nursing. So my mom is a nurse. She's a registered nurse and um, a very, very, very hard worker. So I don't know why I thought that I didn't have to work. So, my nursing journey began when I got pregnant for my first kid. She is uh, 14 years old now. Um, right when I found out I was pregnant, like a few weeks into the pregnancy, I decided that I would not return back to UL and pursue a CNA license, which was a six weeks course. So, I went ahead and I enrolled in a CNA class. Um, I forgot, I think it was through uh, Louisiana Technical College. Um, I went ahead and finished that in six weeks. As soon as, like the same week that I finished the six weeks CNA license um, class, I enrolled in an LPN course or LPN program. Now, an LPN program usually takes up to uh, 18 months. The program that I enrolled in took me um, exactly one year because I was already a CNA. It was some type of a pilot program they were doing for uh, Hurricane Katrina victims who had came over. And ironically, we started with like 65 uh, students in the class and only 10 graduated. And of those 10 that graduated, I don't think any of them were uh, Hurricane Katrina victims. So it helped out me. Um, not really sure the program was a success in what it was initiated for. I had enrolled in two LPN programs. I enrolled in the Louisiana Technical College for the 18-month program first, 
and the, fir the first day of class, we had a speaker come uh, to talk about the pilot program that they were doing. They were going to launch that, and um, it was only going to be a year. And I was sitting there thinking to myself, hmm, a year or 18 months, uh, the year sound much better to me. Uh, she did say that it was going to be a faster paced program than the one that I was in. That was going to be 18 months and I didn't hear anything else. All I heard was the year. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to enroll in that program. Not only was it going to be shorter, but it was going to be absolutely free. Like they paid for our uniforms, uh, down to our socks and, um, the program was going to be free. So it was a win-win situation for me. Um, like I said, they said it, were, it was going to be, um, much faster paced program and um, it was probably going to be harder uh, but I didn't care I didn't have anything to compare it to and I figured if I could attend a four-year college then I could probably ace the LPN program so that very day uh, I got out of the 18-month program and enrolled in the one-year program and started uh, started that pilot program so our teacher for the 18 month program, bless her soul, but she has passed away. She was pissed. Like she didn't want anybody to enroll in the 12 month program because she said uh, she didn't know how it would work out and uh, we probably would all flunk because it was so fast paced in her class. The 18 month program was already hard. So she was pissed that I think at least 40 people got out of her, her class. But as I said before, uh, when I was in the CNA class, uh, I had just gotten pregnant um, for my oldest kid. And um, upon enrolling in the LPN program, I didn't know it, but God had blessed me like the Virgin Mary with um, a pregnancy of twins. So when I first uh, started the LPN program, I was pregnant with my twins who are now 13 years old. So, um, I had a 10 month old and a pregnancy of twins. So the entire time during my LPN program, I was, you guys, I, I was bad. I would sleep in class and fall asleep right when I get home. Like I literally never had time to study except for, uh, maybe lunch break. Uh, maybe sometimes on the weekends, um, my mom and stepdad were, were a great help, and my sisters also, they helped. Um, watching my oldest kid, which she wasn't really any trouble, but um, she still required a lot of attention. So, um, yeah, so I was, you guys, you, you just don't understand. I love to sleep, and this is without being pregnant. I slept, okay? You couldn't tell me anything. I started in May of 2006 for um, my LPN program, and by the time uh, Christmas break came, it was time for me to deliver my twins. So we got like a week off from school um, for our Christmas break and had to return immediately. So on the Christmas break, I delivered my twins via C-section and had to return to school. The biggest mess. Like, I'm telling you the biggest mess I had to <laughs> beg my doctor to release me and it was a kind of um, against medical advice that he released me he really didn't release me to go back to school and clinicals he just gave me an excuse but it was against his medical advice so yeah against his medical advice I went back to LPN school because I had to finish we couldn't miss uh, we could miss one day of school and um, I was pretty much saving it um, in case any of my kids got sick. So I didn't miss any days of school. Took a week off for my C-section, not to mention uh, one of my twins had to stay back in the hospital for two days. She was in a NICU because um, she wouldn't eat. She wouldn't latch on for breast milk. She wouldn't drink from the bottle. Like she wouldn't eat. The very, the very last second when they threatened to put a, a tube down her nose, um, they said, Mom, you can come in and try one last time. If she doesn't eat, we'll have to put the tube down. Lo and behold, she ate. Um, and our kids come out. That's how they are the entire life. Like, their personality is how they will be. Like, that very same kid, Kennedy, she's always, like, just been a picky eater. And she eats whenever she wants to eat. 
It's not all the time, but when she's ready to eat, she'll eat. So I just had to get that little spill. I returned back to school in a, about six months later, um, in six or seven months later, um, I graduated from the LPN class. I graduated at the top of my class and I was also the president of the class. Don't know how that happened when I slept all the time, but as I said, I knew that I could ace the LPN program. It wasn't gonna be a hard thing for me. It doesn't take much for me to learn uh, stuff and remember stuff. So, um, graduated with my uh, LPN license. Then we had to go and take the, uh, the NCLEX, which as soon as I could sign up to take it, I took it. So I took it within like three, three weeks, I wanna say, and I did pass it um, the first time. I just wanted to rewind the part where I said I stayed out of school um, uh, for a week break during the Christmas time and returned right back to school um, right after a C-section. I would not have been able to do without the help of um, two of my favorite classmates, Shandala and Hillary. Um, they were awesome. Like, they would not let me touch anybody whenever I returned back to school. Like, I didn't have to pull on any patients nothing they helped me with everything and uh Shandala even um i wasn't able to drive like for a few weeks so Shandala would come and pick me up um for school every morning and drop me back i am i'll be forever grateful um of those girls like they helped me get over that hump in nursing school and like i said contributed to me getting my lpn license